pushing. Qu quite a few points behind. So, But with that victory, that was a trifecta. And he's definitely got the momentum on his side as he opens up. Holy smokes, with the center. No, the Danish, Danish gambit? gambit. Wow. I mean, uh, Magnus has been all over the map in the in his opening uh, play. What do you think of his of his decision, uh, Var? Yes, I think I think it's his goal or strategy in this tournament, just try to surprise his opponent in every game and play some offbeat lines. He mentioned that he hasn't been doing any chess studying or practicing, so he's definitely a little bit rusty and maybe not as up-to-date on the current theory in some of these critical lines. So that's why he's just trying to experiment in the openings. By the way, I feel I too am not up-to-date <laughs> on the current theory of this ancient, ancient opening. And what does ver uh, theory prescribe? Knight f3 or queen takes d4? He played knight f3. Well, also the move knight f6 played by Levon, it's not the most uh, popular Coming. move here. Queen takes d5 is the main move instead of knight f6. Right. So after knight f6, we have, uh, we have only a few games in the database here, and knight f3 only one game actually, so it's a completely new territory here. And uh, Levon has the option to take back with a knight or with a queen. And uh, if you take back with a queen, we're going to see probably some isolated pawn type of positions. C takes d5. That looks like Scandinavian. Bishop b4 check, it? It does. knight c3, uh, and black and castle, and we have uh, this isolated pawn position. I think it's just roughly equal at the moment. But I tell you, this position with the isolated pawn after queen takes d5, I mean, if I'm white, I'm saying, thank goodness I have that position. I don't have a Petrov, I don't have a Berlin. <laughs> it looks like, a, you know, a great game. Uh, and but uh, I think Levon has actually went into the tank. Right, but let's not forget, Magnus did sacrifice a pawn. He's got it back so, uh, on, uh, on, oh, on Q, yeah. on Q. Uh, knight takes d5, queen takes d4, okay, uh, bishop, bishop b5. b5. Yeah. Seems like a very standard approach here for white. By the way, the queen on d4 is annoying because the desirable bishop to e7 to bishop f6 will hang the g7 pawn and we have bishop b5. I think it's still playable. Queen but e7 Levon check. Levon went queen e7. Does white have knight e5 now? Because knight e5 is the game. best move. You don't have you don't have time for f6. D5 sang in. You know, I I, I agree with you. Knight e5. Uh, I was just I mean it's gross. Uh, <laughs> forgive me, but I was I even <laughs> thinking about king, king d1 one and rook. Don't do this at home, everybody. But <laughs> king d1, rook e1, bishop g5. Uh, but yes, 95, what would happen after 95, R? It's the best move, but it's also a very unusual idea. You're checked and you're blocking with the, with the move and pinning yourself, but it's the right. best move here. And Bishop he played it. Seven. So Bishop d7, played Bishop by Levon. Bishop takes d7, uh, that was forced. Yes, Bishop takes c6. c6. I apologize, Bishop and, takes c6. Uh, I'm assuming Bishop takes c6 and then just you castle. castle. In, in both cases, white just castles and is actually much better. So, much better. Much better, yes. BC is probably a little bit better, just giving a little bit more uh, support to the d5 knight. So if he takes BC, just castles f6, you need to remove this knight from e5 and... Well, let me eat that bishop. Yeah, you take the bishop on d7, queen takes d7, and now white will play the move rook d1. By the way, we do have bishop c takes c6 on the board by Levon, and castles is on the board, queen e6. By Levon. Yes, he's trying to perhaps capture back with the queen, but actually that's not going to work because the best move here is knight takes c6. Which has been, which has happened. And if you take with the queen, rook e1 check. Rook e1 check. Can we take on g7? You have to play bishop g7. And bishop in this case, you have actually two options. Both moves are very strong here queen g7, or I think I like this move even better c4, removing the knight from d5. And we have it on the board. Now the question, I mean, I'm a pawn grabber, but I love that move c4 as well because that move c4 means the king is stuck. There's one in the problem center. with queen g7 long castle and rook g8 attacking g2. I'm taking your pawns. <laughs> You're giving them to me. I'm taking yeah, queen g7, blitz. queen f7. It's blitz, and playing for checkmate is very easy. When you yeah, have time. winning when you're two pawns ahead is really easy. To <laughs> I don't know. Actually, okay. there's one, one uh, interesting line uh, after c4, guys. Uh, I think you might like this line. So if you play c4 here, yes, knight b4, I think is the most logical yes. move. Try to 
create some threats. You actually ignore the fact that knight c2 is coming. You just play knight c3 developing. So knight c2. Knight c2. Take on e7. Take on e7. Check with the knight. And now you give up the other rook as well. Queen takes g7. Oh, you don't even check with the knight. You just lead with the yes, queen. Yes, because if you take on a1 now. Yep. Knight d5 check. Yep. And you don't want to lose the rook? Yes, if you play king d7 or king e6, it's the same thing. I have queen f6, so let's say king d7. Just queen takes f7, Beautiful. king d8, bishop g5, and as you can see, the move knight d7 wins Magnus the queen. Magnus is still thinking and, he might just be game. calculating all this. Well, he's tempted by the pawn, as we are, and then he's seeing c4, mm -hmm. and he knows that once he plays c4 and the knight goes, that black king is stuck. And he's sensing opportunity here. And this move, C4, right here, right now, key moment. And Nasi, I gotta ask minutes. you, is he gonna play C4 or Queen G7? I think he's gonna play C4. That's your t intuition mm -hmm. telling you. I think he's gonna play C4 too. But if he takes the pawn on G7, we're gonna send him a gold membership, <laughs> uh, the coveted <laughs> gold membership to the Pawn Grubbers Association. As president, I have the power. <laughs> <laughs> now. Well, here. down to one minute and 35 seconds. That's I mean, it. he's investing a lot of time in C4, and Levon knows that C4, but Levon's saying, take your time, Magnus, <laughs> take your time. And he's done Takes it. on G7. He's taken Quickly the castle, queen G4 check. And he's saying, okay, gold, gold membership for Magnus in the... And I uh, just heard from Darius pawn. that queen of three was a mistake. Queen of three was a mistake? It looks yes. so natural. Knight d2. And he's eyeballing just... Look, I'm a pawn up. Centralize my pieces. Get them developed. Knight e4, bishop g5 is on my agenda. Var, I don't see the compensation here. Is there? It's, it's a little bit of compensation a here, little. Uh, but that move rook d6 would have been uh, definitely stronger with Hinge the idea blunder. of rook f6. Guys, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I think Levon just blundered. Bishop g5 is coming. After the queen trade, you're right. Knight b3, give me the bishop, and bishop g5, and that's, that's lights out. A very strange decision also to trade queens, because that's the last thing you probably want to do when you're just down a down a pawn here. Especially with the open G file, uh, White's king was a little vulnerable. That's it, that looks Yeah, this is just completely like lost now. I'm looking at bishop b6, bishop g5, rook yeah. d6, and just c4. Uh, <laughs> and c5. He can't move the c pawn with, with black because of bishop, bishop f4. Bishop f4, yeah, that's nasty wow. at c5. And, and he's see. played bishop b6, but bishop g5, very com <gasps> no Magnus missed it. How could you not play Bishop G five? That's an automatic. Was he afraid of Knight G four? Maybe I missed something. I don't know. Bishop G five, Knight G four. There's a Bishop F two check. Maybe. In any case, he played Bishop E three rather quickly. What is the clock situation, Stasi? One minute twenty five seconds for Magnus, okay. and about the same for Levon. But <laughs> this extra pawn. It's yeah, fine, but Magnus' position is still much better. But, but maybe Bishop G5, Knight G4 dissuaded him. Probably. In any case, Bishop E3. Don't tell me that he's got compensation here, Var, because I, uh, in the immortal words of Bent Larson, nobody will believe you. <laughs> no, he does not have a compensation. Okay. It's just a plus three. Plus just, three. Yeah, it's just complete the winning. Okay. Uh, Rook E8 on the board. Bishop takes and Knight D4. We caught up with the players, and yeah. Not so, only is it an extra pawn, by the way, right. it, it's the weaknesses, too. So queen f6 by Levon was a huge blunder. It was. It was. It was just, that's, his, that's it. It was a huge blunder. Knight e4 and g3 just very, very nicely consolidating. And there's nothing love. you can really attack. That's the problem yes. for Levon. There is no counterplay, something that you can attack to confuse your opponent or create some chances. Exactly. Uh, he's doing his best as he's yes, eyeballing an opportunity in the near future, playing knight c4, trying to create something. But king g2, knight, knight c4, b3, get out of here. Nobody <laughs> cares. King g2, c5. Okay, throw it out there. Why not? and knight f3, and trade, trade. What do we do when we're ahead, everybody? Exchange pieces. Exchange pieces. That's been a winning formula. 
you won't believe it for 16 Now knight g5 <laughs> is a threat here, knight g5 attacking h7 and also setting up knight takes f7 with rook e7 idea. That's... Yeah, I mean white has an extra pawn, black has doubled pawns and separated pawns on the king side. Right. This is a very easy... This could be a huge win. win for Magnus. Should be, but it's, it's about the clocks now as well as nerves. Right. I mean, you know, everybody knows when you're winning, but, you know, just bringing the point home, that's, that's the tough part. Rook check, Both players king under d8. players one minute. And rook drop back to e2. Interesting move. I thought that Magnus might have been contemplating rook e5. When Maybe rook, he doesn't want to give Libo knight c4, knight b2. Yeah, any counter chances whatsoever, but uh, I thought he was going for that. Uh, instead, he dropped back with the rook, and it's time for this knight to come into the game. Love that he move. He hurt you. Yeah, <laughs> love that move. And oh! oh. oh. Levon immediately, yeah. as he was releasing his king, walked into knight takes f7. We might F7. see resignation mm -hmm. very soon. Uh, that's a second pawn, and oof, oof. And that